Now I've been given the task of filtering this data set when the product is equal to banana or the sales are greater than or equal to 1,000. Now, if I go and turn to data, filter, turn the filter on, and try this, I'll tell you right up front, it's impossible to do an or logical test across multiple columns. If I try it, hey, let's filter for banana, and then use the number filter over here, greater than or equal to 1,000, click OK. Well, that runs an AND logical test. No matter how hard you try, even if you use the custom filter, that OR right there only allows you two conditions on a single column. Now I'm going to turn the filter off, either clear, or I'm going to use my toggle, Control-Shift-L. So if you want to use the filter feature, you got to add a helper column. And we can use the OR function. I'm asking, hey, product, are you equal to bananas? And I'm going to lock it with the F4 key. That's the first logical test, comma. Sales greater than or equal to 1,000, F4. And what OR does, if it finds true, false, well, then it's true. True, false, it's true. And when it finds two trues like here, bananas and greater than 1,000, that's true also. Control-Enter, double-click and send it down. Now I turn the filter back on. I either click the button or use the keyboard, Control-Shift-L. Now I filter to show just true. And there, the helper column has filtered our data set with an OR logical test across two columns. Now if you have Microsoft 365, you can use the filter function. Hey, the array, I'm going to highlight the whole table. And yes, it's filtered, but those hidden rows are included. Then I type comma. In the include argument, we need to build an OR logical test. I'm going to open parentheses, then highlight the entire products column. Ask, are any of you equal to bananas? And then we close parentheses. And here we have to use a math operator. If you remember back to your statistics class or math logic class, a plus represents OR, and multiplication represents an AND logical test. So we use a plus. We say sales, are you greater than or equal to 1,000? Close, close. Now, if we evaluate just this side, this is one logical test, F9. Notice we get true, false, true, Control-Z. We do it over here, too, F9, false, true, true. Notice there's a true in this array and the second one, right in the third position. And since false is 0 and true is 1, when you get true plus true, well, that's a 2, Control-Z. And if I highlight the entire thing, F9, and there's our array. 0 means false, 1 means true. We only found 1, and 2 also means true. Now, the lucky thing about Excel is any non-zero number is interpreted by any logical function as true. So this will do the trick. It will filter. Control-Z, close parentheses. I'm going to use Control-Enter. We get a different data set. No, these are the correct records, but there's some hidden rows. So some rows are hidden here. If I highlight this whole thing, use my Move cursor and put it right below this filtered data set, there's the complete set. All right, we saw how to use the filter function to do an OR logical test. We importantly learned that you cannot automatically use a filter feature and do OR across two columns, but you can definitely add a helper column. All right, we'll see you next Excel magic trick.